What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. So, if you guys don't know what Cupid's Corner is, this is our segment, our part of the show, that me and Sharice like to go over tips and tricks to help you guys levitate and bring your relationship to a whole new level. Or just reignite that fire that may be, you know, diminishing out a little bit or possibly gone. So, relationships go through different stages, different levels, you know, all these different things. And you get into a relationship, you're going to have to deal with maybe some of these problems and some of these issues. So, me and Sharice have used our great experience and the many experiences from our friends and family to give it to you guys as knowledge so you guys can utilize it to benefit your relationship. Okay? <laughs> so, uh, this one is pretty good. Now, we're in... You know, November. We're coming up on December. So what does that mean? Holidays. Holidays, right? <laughs> and what does that mean? Family time. Family time. <laughs> so whether you're just getting into a new relationship, right? Or you're married uh, or engaged or whatever it is, uh, domestic partners, whatever it may be, you are going to probably have to deal with the in-laws mm, or right. the other person's family or even your family too, right? <laughs> yeah, true. You too, right? Yes. You might have to deal with your own family. You're going to have to deal with their family, you know? And not all family is fun. That's right. what we're going to call this segment. So uh, not all <laughs> family is fun. And, and what we mean about this is, you know, you might not be a fan of the family. Mm -hmm. and, and how that works is, is, you know, when you first meet the family, you might not like them for certain reasons, whether it be a shallow reason like their home, the way it's decorated, or something you see you just don't like, or their political views, or whatever it may be. It could be something very serious. It could even be like, you know, something like their personality or the way that they come off. You know how some family members, they come off a little abrasive? I don't know if it's just maybe a protective kind of thing. For Watch their... out, Peter. Early warnings. <laughs> for a protective thing for their that's children. That's by the way. Yep, that's our baby. Uh, my baby forever. Um, but, you know, they might be a little overprotective. And when they do come off, they come off a little abrasive. And it might kind of rub you the wrong way. Right. Mm -hmm. right. You know, I, it's true. So, you know, or they could just be, they could be irritating, okay? It just is what it is. Not that my, my in-laws are irritating or anything like that, but I know people that have irritating in-laws and I feel for them like, man, you know, I, I don't know, man, if I could be doing with this, like, you know, I just go over there and I have some drinks and just stay to myself. And at that point, you know, the night is done. I haven't fought with anybody and I'm out the door and back home in my own bed and my own kingdom. And I don't have to deal with them anymore to hear them. But you are possibly going to have to deal with in-laws during the holidays, you know. Mm -hmm. Even with COVID around, you're going to either have to deal with them possibly, you know, in your house or you go over their house. It just depends how your families do it. Mm -hmm. Or even virtually. Yeah. You know, just having their you face just there. just say that, you know, you lost power or something and just beep. And then it's over. You possibly could. <laughs> I don't it's, foresee that happening. But that'd be a little bit easier to do, I guess. <laughs> easier than going over there and be like, oh, man, we got to go. You guys have been here 30 minutes. I know. We just, you know, we really got to go. We have this next thing we got to do. Yeah. Me and John have done that on quite a few different occasions <laughs> just because we had to at least show face. You right. know, it's one of those things where right. you kind of got to show face. And if you don't show face, it's disrespectful, especially oh, like, you know, the old timers and time. people that are old school or even, you know, the Greeks or the Indians. You know, they are very family oriented. Mm -hmm. So if you don't show up and at least eat one plate of food, <laughs> it's insulting. It's it can like, be disrespectful it, in their eyes. Be, in their eyes even, you know, and, and then it turns into you didn't stay long enough and then it's just one thing after the other. At least you showed up, you yeah. showed face, you had conversation, you showed the respect level. I think that's what it's really about. Mm -hmm. Not about the time. Mm -hmm. Obviously more time might be better in their eyes or you, there's never enough time in the world, okay, and for anybody. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but but, but doing the, the right thing and supporting your loved one. You know, that might be, you know, like their dad might be there, everything to them if your wife feels like that or mom or whatever it is. So at that point, at least showing the respect of going over there and supporting them. Even if you don't like the family, you're going to have to deal with them. You can't cop out of every situation. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I know that, you know, like my brother is a good example. I'm going to bring him up. Might as well. <laughs> so he's married to an awesome woman now, Courtney. Great kids the whole oh, night. Boy, Before the he was married to this, this chick named Sandra, right? 
And Sandra did not like my family. It just is what it is. She liked <laughs> me, but she couldn't stand my dad. And she didn't like my mom because my mom, you know, know she's going to be like protective her. mom. Right? Everybody likes Everybody John's likes my mom. mom. But my mom will tell you like it is. And if she don't like something that's going on, she's definitely going to let you know <laughs> one way or the other. And back. some people don't like that. You know, some people can respect that, but some people don't like that. So she never wanted to come around. Uh, when the, when they came down, you know, here, when we lived down here on vacation, she would stay at the hotel or she'd bring a friend along to, like, do these, like, family. It was just kind of weird, you know? And, weird. And she, I understand she just didn't want to be a part of the family. She didn't want to be around the family. She could care less. But her side, obviously, she wanted to spend all the time with and wanted Clint always there and supporting. So it's just an example that I'm saying out there. Don't be like that. Reciprocate. Even mm -hmm. if you don't like the family, low key, your wife knows, your your husband knows that you don't like the family. You're doing it for them. And that's yeah. the real reason, because you love them. Right. That's the whole reason that other part of the family is there, because you chose to love that significant other person. So if you really don't want to deal with either one, you know, that's on you. But if, if you do love your significant other, you're going to have to deal with the family or in-laws or anything that comes with it, with it baggage-wise. And that could be kids and ex-husbands or whatever it may be, too, mm -hmm. which I'm glad I never had to go down that route. Mm -hmm. I never want to go down that route. Yep. But a lot of people do because of what ha what's going on out there right now. So a lot of relationships don't last. The blended you family. Know, the blended families. And there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing. And I give a lot of respect uh, for people that raise other people's children that aren't their own, but they take them in as their own, and they do that. Mm -hmm. So that's another big one with me. But, you know, you gotta you got to support your partner. And at that point, you're going to have to suck it up, eat some food. If you have to, have a couple drinks. Put a smile on your face. Have a small face, talk. And then at that point, just get through the night, <laughs> get through the day, and then go home and re relax. And then you can complain about it later to your wife or husband on the way home. <laughs> um, <laughs> Isn't that the truth? But don't be mean about it, okay? Um, don't make them feel bad about it. That's another thing. Oh, you're making me go over to your, your mom's house or your dad's house. And they just feel bad about it, too. too. And this is the person that's their parent. That's the person that maybe raised them and they love and they care about, too, as much as you. So don't make them feel awkward or, you know, uh, or bad about it. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's a big thing. That's huge. That's huge. Really it's, if you love your significant other, you're going to have to suck it up. You know, there's going to be times and things that you don't like that you just have to do. Yeah. This happens to be one of them, yeah. you know, so for Thanksgiving or for Christmas, if you guys have to do these get togethers and everybody's usually what you try to do at some point is try to get all the families together, you know. So if you're married, it's nice, nice if you can, you know, is to get your his family and my family is what we tried to do you know a couple of times yeah and get everybody together under one roof so that way you're not just having to hop houses you know and go from one house to the next house to the next house to the next house you know especially i and mean we still hop houses. in our scenario it was it was really houses. messed up because when my dad was around so my parents didn't get divorced until i was 21. Both of our parents divorced at 21. And he was another 21. another thing that we have just in common. Yeah, just common, you know. Yeah. And so he was 21 when his, when his parents got divorced. So when these <laughs> these special holidays came oh up. Oh, my God. We had to go and visit with Peter, right? So we have Peter. Yeah. We had to go and visit John's mom. Yep. Spend an hour and a half, two hours there. Yep. Drive, you know, back to see my mom, you yep. know. And that was over in Wesley Chapel. We're talking about an hour drive from John's mom's house, yep. right? So go see my mom, my grandma, you know, my uncles and everything over there. And then we had to go see my dad. And then, you know, from my dad, we had to go back to his dad. And then we had to split it all up. So it was just, it was a lot of traveling in one day. A lot of traveling, <laughs> you know, a lot of miles, a lot of eating. Um, but, you know, again, and then you try to get them together. And we would try to do that, too. And then, you know, it's basically four different parties at that point. Uh, plus us, which would be five different parties. <laughs> Uh, but at that point, what would happen is they would start bickering sometimes back and forth. And I think everybody's been through those family bickering or fights. I don't know. Yeah. I, everybody I've I talked to has usually went through one experience like mm -hmm. that. And, and trust me, my, my brain was no different. Mm -hmm. I had both sides of the family. I mean, well, my dad's side of the family was in Greece. So really not that side. But my mom's side of the family. But all her brothers, sisters, and everybody, you know, just eventually would turn into an argument or fight <laughs> of some kind. Um, but always a good time. It's always a good time. Hey, listen, you always come back with great memories from these family gatherings, even with the in-laws. There might be something funny they do that you guys can make an inside joke about and kind of laugh about. So just take it for what it is. Do the right thing. Support your partner. Not everybody's a fan of the family. 
But yeah. you can't choose your family sometimes too because you choose your loved one and that yeah. comes a part of the package. You gotta do it. If you love them, you'll do it. You'll suck it up and you'll do it. And you so, know what? You'll even tell them. Yeah. You know what? I'm doing this because I love you. So hopefully <laughs> this tip and trick, not a fan of the family, helps you guys out <laughs> in dealing with your issues possibly with your family or the in-laws family or significant other's family, the girlfriend, you know, the, the fiance, whatever it is at that point in time, you can deal with it. And if you ain't married, you ain't really attached to it. So you might so at that point, to... you might be changing your mind. Hopefully, <laughs> you hope it's not that bad. <laughs> but, but hey, you never know, right? Um, so, guys, keep it locked. Keep it tuned. Every Sunday, Cupid's Corner, me and Sharice are going to be here, right? If you guys don't have cable in Florida, so you guys can't watch us on ABC at 11 a.m., you guys can always check it out on our Tight Medical Center Facebook page and our YouTube page in Florida. Full, unedited, and no commercials for you guys, all right? <laughs> so we'll see you guys next Sunday, Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. I'll see you then.